Capacitors come in a wide variety of styles and uh, vary in shapes and sizes. Uh, the first one was invented in 1746 and is better known as a, a latent jar. Uh, they're used in uh, basically anything that uses electricity and that encompasses a very wide range of stuff. Uh, if it has a motor, uh, there's a capacitor in it. Uh, if it's uh, circuitry, there's a capacitor in it. Uh, the, a wide variety of appliances around the house and uh, basically all uh, sorts of stuff that uses electricity uh, has capacitors in it to uh, regulate uh, the voltage uh, differences. In this example in front of us, we have a battery, a uh, light bulb, and a capacitor, obviously. Now, what that capacitor does is it uh, blocks direct current uh, from occurring and allows uh, alternating current to, to pass through. So essentially, it blocks direct current and allows uh, alternating current to pass through. Now, the symbol uh, for a capacitor, the electrical symbol for that, is just uh, two lines like that. And uh, we'll show why in just a second here. Uh, basically you have uh, the makeup is a, like a conductive uh, metal plate and then you have this uh, dielectric or uh, insulator in between that and then you have another uh, conductive metal plate and you put those together and uh, that's, that's your basic uh, makeup of that. Now this uh, dielectric or insulator can also uh, pass a small amount of leakage current or uh, it'll pass current but not the actual electrons and it has like an electrical field strength limit uh, that's better known as uh, breakdown voltage. Uh, in nature you can think of it as uh, the cloud of one plate, uh, the ground plate is another and uh, the charge between them which is uh, also referred to as lightning. Basically, when there's a, a difference in voltage across the two conductors, uh, a static electric field develops across the uh, dielectric or the insulator, and that ca causes a positive charge to collect in, on one of the plates and a, a negative charge to collect on the other plate, and uh, the energy is uh, stored in an electrostatic field. Uh, the difference with a capacitor and a battery is that uh, a capacitor can get rid of that energy uh, instantaneously, uh, which can also uh, make it uh, very dangerous if you uh, mess with one of those things that's loaded because you can get instantly shocked. Now, uh, capacitance is uh, highest in stuff with uh, high permittivity of uh, materials. So if we have high permittivity of materials, uh, we're going to have a higher capacity. Uh, larger plate areas, so the larger the plate, uh, the more capacity and of course a uh, small distance uh, between the plates. Now storage capacity is measured in this unit called farads and if you look at this uh, capacitor, we have little capacitor we have in front of us there, it has this thing called UF or uh, farads and that, that's a uh, farads. Now one farad or farad is equal to uh, one coulomb, coulomb uh, per volt and uh, typically uh, a ferret takes up a lot of space so uh, these smaller capacitors like the one in front of us is actually measured in microfarads which is essentially uh, millionths of a ferret. Now just to recap here, uh, capacitors used to uh, block direct current voltage and it uh, stores the charge for high speed use uh, such as uh, flash cameras and stuff like that and it uh, also can eliminate uh, ripples or uh, spikes in uh, current uh, by absorbing uh, the peaks and uh, f filling in the shortages of uh, current. And uh, this wraps up our uh, brief overview of capacitors. Thank you for watching.